Today, 10 exercises to improve your dribbling. And make sure to stay tuned for the end of the video where we'll help you create a plan to improve your skills. You're watching All Attack. Straight Cones Place five cones in a straight line, with about one yard between each cone. Also, if you don't have cones, you can use shoes, water bottles, or anything else you have lying around. Inside Outside Start by using the inside of one foot to cut the ball past the first cone. Then use the outside of that same foot to push the ball past the next cone. Remember to practice the exercise with both your right and left foot. This exercise will help you with the most essential dribbling skill, which is the ability to change the direction of the ball whenever you need to. Outside feet. Use the outside of one foot to cut the ball past the first cone. Then use the outside of your other foot to cut past the next cone. This will give you the ability to cut past defenders with either foot making you more unpredictable on the field. Inside Feet As you approach the first cone, use the inside of your foot to push the ball across your body. Then use the inside of your other foot to gently tap the ball forward. Continue around the next cone and through the rest of the exercise. This exercise is a great way to improve your La Croquetas and help you improve your control with both of your feet. Roll to inside. Use the underside of one foot to roll the ball across your body. Then use the inside of your other foot to push the ball past the first cone. Continue the exercise just like this. Sometimes it's easier to use the underside of your foot, so it's nice to be able to do the La Croqueta motion with a roll as well as a drag. Pyramid. Set up two cones about half a yard apart. This will simulate a defender. Then, behind the first defender, set up two more defenders to the left and right. Finally, create a pyramid by adding a third and fourth row of defenders. The pyramid will help you practice dribbling past multiple opponents, because no matter which way you go, you'll always have a defender in your way. Real defenders are wider than a single cone. That's why we set up two cones to represent a defender. That way, you have to cut wider just like you would in a real game. Try turn Use three cones to create a triangle, with about five yards between each cone. Then, a few yards from the triangle, use two cones to create a gate. Start at the gate and nudge toward the cone on the left. 
Then use the inside of your foot to turn around the cone. Continue the exercise around the other cones and stop the ball at the gate. You should practice the drill with both the inside and outside of your feet and both your right and left foot. This drill will help you improve your nudging and your turns, allowing you to keep the ball close to you while you move around the field. Cluster. In a small area, randomly spread a number of obstacles. Then dribble through them repeatedly, taking different routes through the cluster each time. This exercise will help you practice dribbling in tight spaces. Spaces where you have to act quickly to avoid defenders. Turn away from defender. Start with a defender behind you. Then have that defender try to get around the front of you to steal the ball. Before the defender can get there, turn away to protect the ball. Then have the defender come again and continue to turn away until you get tired. One v one. Place two gates about 20 yards apart. Then put a defender in the middle. Start at one of the gates, nudging toward your opponent. Then use all the dribbling skills you have to try and beat them. Your ultimate goal is to get past them and stop the ball at the other gate. The defender should make it a little difficult but ultimately let you succeed most of the time. To become good at dribbling, you have to do it against real people. This drill will give you the opportunity to practice against a real person, but without the pressure of a real game. Speed dribbling. Start at one corner of the penalty area, then dribble as fast as you can around the box stopping the ball at the point where you started. Time yourself and try to improve your speed over time. This exercise will help you practice dribbling with speed in the open field. So if you want to learn how to keep control of the ball while you're running, this is the one you want to work on. Practice. If you want to be great at dribbling, we recommend you practice for roughly one hour a day. Choose five of the 10 exercises and do each drill for 10 minutes. Then the next day, choose the other five exercises and do those for 10 minutes. Continue alternating exercises each day. You can train more or less depending on what works for you. The important thing is that you work on your dribbling consistently every day for years. If you do that, you will develop amazing control. All right, everybody, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment about what you want to see next.